With just six weeks until Election Day, new poll shows Governor Hochul widening her lead over Republican challenger Congressman Lee Zeldin. But the Zeldin campaign released their own poll today that has its candidate within striking distance. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer sorts it all out. They have not yet struck a deal to debate each other, but Kathy Hochul and Lee Zeldin, the battling Bickersons of the 21st century, are squabbling about a new poll that gives the Democratic governor a commanding lead over her Republican rival. The poll by the Independent Siena Research Institute has Hochul up by 17 points, 54 to 37. Zeldin scoffed at the findings. I don't know if you have any pets, Marsh, and if you do, if they're potty trained. But uh, that Siena poll would be good to use for that purpose. Team Zeldin promptly released its own internal poll by McLaughlin and Associates that claimed the Long Island congressman has whittled down Hochul's lead to 5.8 points. Hochul at 50.7, Zeldin at 44.9. But that's not the only difference. Siena gave Hochul a job approval rating of 53, disapproval 42. McLaughlin said Hochul's approval rating is 46, her disapproval rating is 51. But with six weeks until election day, the two were gleefully on the attack. The governor the governor saying she is the only one prepared to lead the state through what are expected to be rocky fiscal times, pointing out that in addition to Democrats, she has a narrow lead among independent voters and is hoping to pick up more support. The alternative is so frightening uh, to have someone who's, uh, and even if you, if you do pay attention to polls, uh, is so um, out of sync with the values and the beliefs of New Yorkers. Zeldin continued to attack the governor for not agreeing to multiple debates. She has agreed to only one on cable at the end of October. Zeldin has not yet agreed to participate. Why is it that Kathy Hochul emulates all of, of Andrew Cuomo's worst traits. Seldom referring to the fact that during the 2018 governor's race, Andrew Cuomo debated primary opponent Cynthia Nixon just once, right here on CBS2. CBS2 also hosted the only general election debate between Cuomo and Republican Mark Molinaro. In the Siena poll, Democrat and Republican voters both said that economic issues are their number one concern. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS2 News. And Zeldin repeated his demand that the governor accept a debate invitation from CBS 2.